What's up guys and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like in the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, with Poppy's help, we rescued a massive dragon from a dragon fighting ring. Unfortunately though, the dragon flew off and left her egg behind. So I think Poppy might have actually found that dragon's, that dragon's den. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. That's... That might need looking into. What did you find out about honest. the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Okay. And? Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. Yeah, this... Might get a little dangerous. Simple, but Might this get a little is dangerous. a dragon after all. Hebrideans can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. All right. Well, you then, say so. Let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Sounds like a plan. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. Yeah. I'm ready when you are. I completely agree. So we might want to use some That's it. disillusion. There she is. Above us. Just a little she bit. Did oh my safely. Oh good. It looks Dude. as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. The dragon looks way bigger in the air than it did in captivity for whatever reason. I'm gonna grab a couple of these Ashwinder eggs as well. And some more leaping toadstools. Hey! Dragon, what's going on? Yeah, she looks like she's looking around everywhere for her egg. I'm really not even sure that we... There she is. There she is again. Really not even sure that we need to be using disillusionment. I just hope that when we get up close to her, she at least remembers that we're the two that set her free. After all, we'll see though. Got a bunch of stuff on fire down here. Telltale sign that a dragon is close by. There she is again! Yeah, even though we were using disillusionment the entire time, just walking here, it seemed like she kind of knew where we were. All right, better pull out that egg so she at least understands why that we're here. What is... What the heck? Okay, we just have to get past the dragon, I guess. And go, 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 go. All the way up to this one. Got it, we're good. Everything's fine. And keep going, keep going, keep going. Sketchy, I don't like it. Okay, we're behind her now. Looks like we just need to go up some steps. You hanging in there, Poppy? Doing all right? It's oh, her heck. She'll make sure we know it. Okay. And move, 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 move. Up to here. Keep at it. We've just got to make it to the next. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Making it easy. Next, dude, run! Get up! You dumb dumb, he's stuck! Oh my. That's a bit unfortunate. He wouldn't run. And again, you're being dumb. What is happening? 
What is happening? Okay, go. Dude, I only... Stop doing that. Just run. Not Good lord. It's a little too warm, if you ask me. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. Okay, and now we've just got to sprint. She listened to reason. All the way over here. I normally try, but we're well Stay behind this wall. All right, and I'm gonna try to like roll out from behind the walls now because, as we've learned, it likes to kind of, kind of glitch out a little bit. Go 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 go! This one made it. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. This must be it. Past the dragon and into the nest. Oh, okay. Right across this little Why is every bridge. Here bridge. Repair her. If if I had to guess, Poppy, it's probably because a dragon lives here and she destroyed all the bridges. Searching now, around everywhere for her egg. her egg. We can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Sounds easy enough. Right here, a little perch for the egg. There's the dragon! called that. I'm sure we all called that, right? Nice dragon. Nice dragon. Easy. We brought the egg back to you. We're we're good wizards. We're not poachers. We're nice. You get me? Oh, that is bold, Poppy. That is bold and brave. Okay. Scooped up the egg and she's out of here. Audi 5000. There's no shot. There's no shot I would try to pet a dragon. Absolutely not. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Per yeah, per perfectly, perfectly Creatures unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. I mean... Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True, true. They have so every why reason they not come to like after us. us. It's not like them to let things lie. Unless. Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? I'm really confused as to what she was talking about just then. Her gran. Yo, her grandma. Yeah, it's highly likely. Poppy, you better go try to find your grandma or something. It is highly likely that the poachers have have already gotten to her. That's why she wasn't responding to her owls or whatever else it was that she said. Speaking of owls, Lodgok sent us an owl not long ago asking us if we knew anyone who spoke gobbledygook. As it turns out... We do. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? No. I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Excellent. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. We had to head way down south to meet up with Ladgok here. We'll see what he has to say. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Ertgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. 
Right, because we had to basically steal it from uh, Rookwood's lot, so obviously he would know about that. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle? That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. Oh, no. I, um, uh, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Okay. Every time that we do something with Lodgok, I, meet and I, can do this. I trust I him less and less. Like everything he I says see you soon. just gets sketchier and sketchier. Alrighty. Well, let's roll, Amit. We've got some exploring to do. Looks like right back in here is going to be that that cave that he was mentioning. The door uh, is looking at us. Got an eyeball. Okay. Hang on. We've got to fall back just a little bit till it closes its eye. I'm quite good at sneaking about. You'll good. see. Good, good, good. That's exactly what we need right now. We can just open it like that. Okay. It looked like the same, like, steam-powered or, or water-powered doors that we had seen before. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Yeah, um, don't be trusting them books too much there, Amit. I cannot sometimes, believe I met a goblin. Sometimes hands-on experience is just a little out. bit better. Look at this lift. There we Impressive go. workmanship for so simple a That's device. the steam or like water fluid power it's thing I was talking about. Forward. Okay, so we just gotta hop in this thing and away we go. Nothing scary about this at all. Okay, this is actually pretty sick. Here we are. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin. Revelio. But you gotta get used to it. Okay, I think we need to be going up in there somehow. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Akio. That did it. The fluid's gonna go up to there. And that should open up that that door. Beautiful work. 
two bags, and then we probably can't actually go up there, I would take it, so. Amit, what is you doing, dog? Good God. I've read about mines like this. See, something else altogether. You're gonna end up saying, like, the same things over and over and over again, aren't you? He's a, he's a good person to, to bring along for a long journey, right? I'll get you right? through this mine. Ooh, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, of we course. We need some disillusionment. Absolutely. I'm trying to take these dudes out one by one. There we go. Now run away, run away, Randall run away. Be sure to appreciate the extra work we're doing. All right, just hang tight, bud. Just hang tight. Let's cast at that barrel. There we go. Oh, okay. I didn't have enough time to switch my spells. Oh, we still have transfiguration set up, dude. I really like that. I just turned a goblin in. Ooh, roll. I just turned a goblin into a barrel. And we need to do it again. Thank you. Okay, these goblins are very strong. Sorry, I mean, I, I kind of left you up there in the thick of things. That was not my intention, I promise. Transfigured him. How is he still kicking, dude? There we go. All right, impressive uh, battle that technique was a there, more I mean. Than I'm used to. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll get us through his safely, I mean. Let me grab that. Oh, maybe not quite yet. Is there like a boiler thing close by? Judging by the pipework here, it almost looks like the water has to come in from behind this door. So we need to back up. It's one of the one of the eyeball doors that we just discovered. I'll be quiet. So we'll use disillusionment yet again. And I'm thinking once we get through the door, then we'll be able to come back through here and maybe use Accio on that on that lever. I guess we'll find Perfect. out. See what we got in here. Oh yeah, perfect. Confringo. Confringo on that. Now we should be able to use Accio on this guy. And that is gonna open up this grate. Or at least I thought it would. Up here, there it goes. And this is a shortcut. It's just, it's just another way around, isn't it? I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Oh my, yep. Nerd Let's alert! Let's take a look around, our meat. See if we can find any plans. I'm just nervous that there's going to be more to be goblins in here. here oh yeah, right here, dude. That's got to be it. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Okay, well, yes. I thought you there could speak gobbledygook, but here. apparently not. What could they be Rebellion. building? Check up top. There's got to be some. Oh, there are some goblins. Clever. Definitely some goblins. I'm seeing another scroll or something here on the table. I don't even think we really need to take any of these guys out. I'll tell you the truth. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. I mean, the you are not being are quiet right now. Let me You're know speaking you very, any very loudly. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Like they would definitely, they would definitely be able to hear that, but it's all right. Yeah, look at that, dude. We don't even, we don't even need to take him out. Okay, Amit. Don't be doing this to me, dude. We're literally, we're stuck. What do we if got I'm here? I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? Revelio. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Okay. I mean, honestly, if there are pictures on here, I probably could have told you that they were working on building something large. <laughs> Oi, pass that fire whiskey over here. You have I thought to they spotted me. I actually thought they spotted me. Let's just go around and do what we do best, which is looting and using Petrificus Totalis. Petrificus oh no, oh no, run, 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 run. We drew a little bit too much attention to ourselves there. We're gonna have to be much, much more careful. I think I could get this guy. Have never seen a there we go. Like we'll just head around the corner. Ooh, let's look at this really quick. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Back, 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 back. Nobody there. Nope. Nope. Okay. How, where even was he? Wait, wait, wait. Let's 
use that on you. Switch spell sets. Other spell sets. I couldn't even get my spell out, dude. I couldn't even get it cast. Alrighty, well. Here goes nothing. Nice, nice. That was pretty good. I don't have a yellow spell yet. Amit, help! There we go. Got it. And he is finished. Oh, there's more! Hey, guys, didn't see you there. That's, that's my bad. How rude of me. Looks like there's actually a couple behind us as well. Yep, right there. Childish. This guy needs a yellow spell. Got you. Nicely done. Dodge that. And a finisher on you. Okay, we've just got two more. Dodge. Okay. Okay, dude. I'm gonna run out of Wigan Weld. Oh, thanks, buddy. Stay close. That was the last one. Another boiler. This place is more complex than I We've got that next boiler lit. I'm just gonna make sure we didn't miss anything. I got all the loot, but I would have definitely missed this if I didn't circle back. Just gotta open that up. Oh, this is. This is the way forward. Okay. So there's actually there's actually another way that we could go through this door over here, right? That's already open. Revelio. Oh, dude, it's just it's just a tiny bit of loot. There are a lot of goblins in here, so we're going to have to be extra careful. Just sort of take our time. We've got no reason to rush. No reason whatsoever. Okay, the guy up top there is going to be a little more difficult to take out, I would imagine. So let's try to get this guy. Why are you walking away from me so quickly? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm supposed to do this for. We've got this guy. Turn around, grab this guy right over here. It's doing that thing again where I try to run and it's it's not really doing it. There we go. This guy. Who's there? Okay, the ranger might have just heard that. Actually, it looks like he's the only one. We'll just use a, a quick finisher that move on him. That should be the last of them, Judging by the pipes on this thing again, I think it's safe to say that our our boiler deal is going to be right in here. Perfect. Just gotta light that up. Head on back through and use some Accio on that little valve. Now, what is that going to do? Is that some type of elevator? It is. Okay, let me go through here. Make sure we've looted everything that we can. Oh, we needed to be in here this anyways. This is not good. They're building enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could contain. Oh. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgott what we found. I see. Okay. So the elevator, I guess, is just just our way out of here. Oh, Sorry. I'm, okay, he made it in anyways. I need a moment to catch Kind of forgot breath. about our friend. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad yeah, I'm you sure. came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Somehow, Amit beat us out of the cave, even though he was Can we please talk us? about what just happened? Sure, I guess. That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Sounds good, buddy. Without further ado, you, you can do that. You. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm not really sure how much help he actually was because the last thing that we found was just a picture like a drawing of the machine we probably could have just put two and two together on our own they're building enormous drills we found their plans Ranrock must be searching for the repositories i fear you are correct 
Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Figg's wife. Yo, I just got the chills, dude. And I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodcock, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Yo, that is crazy, though. Like, the whole bit about Professor Fig's wife, Miriam. That is actually insane. Another quest complete, though. And it's on to the next. Natty's been wanting to talk to us for a while out in Lower Hogsfield, so... Seems is like this the Mr. Time. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. Okay. My husband. Johanna Bickle. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He's probably he's probably he must chilling. Be around here somewhere. Playing video when games you somewhere. You know, doing Archie what doing what kids do. While I was out, his satchel's missing. Hopefully, he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow, when my husband, 
<laughs> Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Well, you stay here. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. We'll do the dirty work. <laughs> What am I going to do? <laughs> Dude, there's just there's Please so much don't sadness. Worry, Mrs. Bickle. There's we so much sadness. Home. We are all over it. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. Oh. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. Yeah, what seems did Officer like... Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. What the heck? This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Dude, there's a whole dragon Archie skeleton Bickle. right there. He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. Uh, what? There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. Oh, okay, cool. I was like, how is Revelio gonna help us? I didn't, I didn't see any other, like, chests or anything around there. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about Revelio. killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. He's bound to be around here somewhere. I got a feeling. Whoa. Something up here. Oh heck! I mean, apart from the apart from the wolves, I mean. I saw something like behind a tree. Go. Sorry, Natty. How many are there? All right. Surely that's all of them. Nope, there's one more. Wait, did jumping just then actually work? She didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. Was I able to dodge that wolf's attack, dude? That's kind of crazy. Yeah, right behind. Or actually, in front of this tree, there's like a satchel. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This yeah. may be a good time for Revelio again. I am not seeing any more Archie footprints. Went this way. Okay, now I see him. We got you, Archie. We're en route, brother. Hang in there. I have a bad feeling about this. Hallow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. Yeah, I have a, I have a feeling he just saw Harlow do something. See Harlow kill his father. Incriminating. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Oh, she said fork, dude. Her accent made it sound Revelio. like she said Multiple something a little different. Oh. Uh oh. Hallo caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Is that a Thestral? <sighs> yeah, sure is. What's up? Good to see you. Thestrals. Oh, okay, that they one was just sleeping. Just not? sleeping. You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. When you were nine? Revelio. Those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. I guess we're my just hanging out here away, quick to I talk. I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways. But in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My oh, her father dad. was a wonderful man. I... Let us keep moving. We must find Achi. Yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk more about that a little while later on. But we've we've got a life on the line. 
Perhaps maybe multiple lives on the line. We just don't know. Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. It is as I feared. They have Take care of this guy. Totalis. Be on your gut. There can be no mistakes. We love No mistakes? She doesn't know who we're, who she's talking to. I am the king of mistakes. Yeah, I think. They got what they deserved. I think that's all of them. Looks like these footprints all lead to the same place, right inside the Ashwinder tent. So we'll see what we've got in here. I did not expect this tent to be so large on I the inside. I was just gonna that say that. That things a little. How I, it's magic. It's magic. I was I was actually about to question how that's even possible, but it's magic. If they're in a group, nope, that does not work. Wait, it worked for four of them. Oh, and I think I hear Archie. They got what they That was pretty easy. Might be the king of mistakes, but I'm. I'm also apparently the king of Petrificus Totalis. That is a self-proclaimed title, but you know the deal. All right, Archie. Revelio. You are down another floor. We'll come help you in a sec, but I just need to make sure that I looted this area. That sounds awful. I seem like I'm just money hungry. And to be honest, we kind of are. It's not even money. It's really not. It's just gear. I am all about the gear. Archie, 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 my dude. Help. Archie. How did Archie you end Bickle. up in this situation? How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. I mean, we took we everyone to out so open. like anyone can hear us. Aloha right, Mora. A little Aloha Mora. Also, I have gone through off camera and done quite a few more of those, or I, I should say found quite a few more of those demiguys statues. I think we needed nine in total, so we need to check back in with the, the caretaker. Oh, man, he killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. He's already after us. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband. Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. All in a day's not work, ma'am. Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. Like I said, we've got quite a few moons that need to be delivered to the moon man himself. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguys statues? I should have nine I of them. I actually have some moons for you. I'm fairly certain. Oh, my mind feels lighter already knowing those statues are gone. I did promise to show you how to improve casting Alahamora once you'd brought me enough moons. Oh, with that knowledge, you'll be able to break open even stronger locks. Mm. However, we don't yet know who's behind these statues. <laughs> Still plenty of the foul things lying in wait to torture me. Oh, if you bring me more moons, I'll show you how to cast the most powerful form of Alohomora known to wizard kind. <laughs> At least known to me. All right, sweet. So that would Keep be Alohomora 3. Mm -hmm. We've just learned save my sanity Alohomora 2. Get to the bottom of whoever's behind all of this. I am really curious about who's actually like going around and, and placing all those statues, but we'll find out eventually. Now we're gonna make our way into the Undercroft once again, so we can meet up with Seabass. He was saying that he found something in Salazar Slytherin's You'll spellbook. You'll never believe what I've learned. Really curious as to what, what that could be. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the Scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret. 
but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. That, yeah, that makes sense. And I actually don't regret using Crucio. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it. Because in the spellbook, I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. Secrets don't make friends. I see no reason to involve Ominous. But I'm not, I'm I'm not going to say agree. anything. When I know more, that is I their send friendship. Them out. All right, just a quick don't combo. Feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. That's a I'll nice looking. What's for my own good? Ominous. We were hey. just about to get some air. Bud, what's, what's up? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know Look at his robe, dude. Stop. I can't take him seriously right alone, now. Leave Ominous. I'll be on my way. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. We knew that much. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. The spellbook is concerning. The spellbook is giving... I'm going to say it's Some concerning. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I I'm am concerned for Sebas. I am. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. He seems to have a bit of a, mean a addictive personality, sort of just consumed by this want to be able to cure his his sister. How's about one more quick combo with Poppy just before we wind things down for today? There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized I knew me it. in the hotel hall and they Dude, got to I her. knew it. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank you. I goodness. shouldn't be excited about that. They were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. Well. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. Mm. One of them contained I thought she was calling her grandma. the secret hiding place of the Snidget, a creature. long thought to be extinct. Really? We know what a, a Snidget is. What did the what did the journals say? Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. Okay, interesting. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, 
But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as... Merlin's beard! You're genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Okay. We can... we can probably talk Sounds to them. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. Yeah, the centaurs didn't really I'll seem let you know to be... i as soon as I have a plan. They didn't really seem to be fans of wizards when we had, you know, ran into them with Poppy once before, so... Not really sure how that's all gonna go, but I do think that's where we're gonna wind things down at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.